Michelle, talk me through your decision to come and target the Hillsville Cup. Uh, we gave him a, the chance in the straight track in New South Wales and he went really good in the heat. He just had no luck in the final and he went so good in the heat that we thought well, the next step would be Hillsville Cup. So, yeah, true. You also made the effort, like you mentioned, to go and trial. Yep. How did you think he went first up at Hillsville? We asked everybody and they said, you know, 1940 first go, he would be a good run and he came out and ran 1908. So we were stoked. And yeah. certainly a great reason to come back and compete in the Hillsville Cup. Yes. yes. Talk me through what your day looks like. It's a 28 hour, I believe, round trip. Yep. What time are you leaving? What time are you getting to bed? Where are you staying? What's that look like? We um, we leave about 3.30 from Newcastle and we um, make a stop on the way, just a quick stop for half an hour. Um, and then, yeah, keep coming. And we stay at the caravan park down the road in the cabin with the dog, yep. So does he jump in bed with you as well? No, definitely not. <laughs> no, he's got his beds in the floor. And yeah, he's quite comfortable. He doesn't move. He's a dog that has um, has really appreciated straight track racing. Yep. Is that what you're going to continue looking forward to after the Hillsville Cup at the moment? Yeah, Capalaba's on in about two weeks or three weeks after the final. So, yeah, we'll be um, heading up there probably after here and seeing how we do He's also owned by the Punters HQ Syndicate. They've got yep. a pretty big opinion of him. Yep. What are your thoughts? He's always shown something. Um, okay, our first start that we gave him, he was flying around Maitland and done a pin muscle around the first turn. So it was devastating, but we got him back and yeah, now he's in the final. Thank you so much for your time and good luck.